Hello guys and welcome for another Radiation Dose. Today I will be reviewing Red X1, probably the cheapest and the best Geiger counter in its price range. So let's have a look what's inside. Inside the box we'll find the main unit, micro USB cable, belt strap, hand strap and one AAA battery. There is also some technical certification and manual. So let's have a look on the main unit. As you can see it is really small. It can fit in your hand, it could be easily concealed. There are two buttons on the top, there's the display and on the bottom is a micro USB cable for connecting to the PC. There are only standard batteries used they're not rechargeable and they cannot be charged from the USB. To turn on the unit, press and hold the set button. The unit will calibrate itself for the background radiation. It will take only few seconds. There. 0 0.008 microsievert per hour. Well, uh, now you can switch between uh, the display by pressing the set button again you will show the maximal dose received uh, on uh, all the measurements the CPM clicks per minute and that's it there is also a lot of things you can set in the menu by pressing the mode button you can turn the sound on and off the vibration on and off and uh, the alarm limit of uh, microsieverts and this will clean uh, the maximal dose uh, received. Inside of this unit is an SBM20 Geiger Miller tube which is fairly sensitive and can detect beta, gamma and x-ray radiation. Picture of the inside of the unit is right here as you can see from the date code on the tube, these are current tubes made in uh, 2015. So they will be pretty sensitive. Now let's measure something. I will set the alarm for let's say one microsievert. And I will bring in the uranium glazed pottery the tube is located here in this part so let's measure this as you can see it jumped right away to 3.5 microsievert per hour and the alarm started right away you can also enable the vibration, but this will significantly uh, lower the battery life. The vibration motor is really strong. Good news is that this Geiger counter doesn't draw a lot of current. From what I have measured, it takes about 0.5 milliamps and that will last with a moderately good uh, AAA battery for six days. If you want to measure the radiation with your computer you have to connect uh, this unit with the micro USB uh, and install software from the manufacturer site. The software looks really easy uh, there is nothing to worry about. Here is a screenshot of it this concludes the review of Red X1 Geiger counter. Under my opinion, it is a really good unit. It has all the functions that you could expect in modern Geiger counter and the battery lasts a lot of days. That's it and see you next time.